In Lombardy, Italy, more than 4 million pigs are bred every year, accounting for 50% of the total number of pigs raised in the country. These farms have a devastating impact on animals and the surrounding area. A few months ago, Animal Equality released footage shot inside a pig farm owned by Gruppo Bompieri in the province of Brescia. Gli animali vengono tenuti in condizioni pessime. Se non morirà per la malattia, morirà. Senti, cadaveri, condizioni igieniche drammatiche, cannibalismo. Ci troviamo in un allevamento inquietante. Since then, Animal Equality has continued to investigate the Bompieri Group, owner and manager of over 40 pig farms in Italy. The group, which took its website offline after our first investigation, was subject to complaints by Animal Equality for ill treatment and misleading advertising. The complaints were filed with the local prosecutor's office. In our latest footage, we investigate another farm affiliated with Gruppo Bompieri, a facility that houses thousands of pigs. The farm is located in the province of Mantua, in an area of Italy that is severely affected by intensive farming. Farming which impacts air and water quality and the lives of the animals confined in these places. Alongside a local Italian television news crew, Animal Equality showed more than half a million viewers what lies behind the so-called excellence of Made in Italy. Le blaste percorrono tutte le superfici, possono essere portatrici di malattie e tra l'altro vengono ingerite dai maiali. Una grossa ciste. The structure is dilapidated, with dust and cobwebs covering the electrical panel. Sewage comes out of the fattening boxes and seeps into the corridors, creating unsanitary conditions. The weaning section of the farm is no better. In the cages where piglets recently separated from their mothers are forced to live, we found the presence of feces inside the feeders, contaminating the feed. The doors were covered with blood. and we found decaying bodies of pigs in the corridors. Some even became mummified due to the length of time they were left to rot in the halls. The remains of pigs and even decaying bodies of cats covered the floor. These are very serious violations and indicate the failure to dispose of animal bodies as required by law. Aside from the many deceased animals abandoned outside of the enclosures, there are others that were left within them. Living piglets are forced to live in these small spaces with other dead ones. These animals have wounds, skin problems, cysts, and are often debilitated. The flooring of the company offices and near the operator's bathrooms is infested with snails. And inside the sheds, we found cockroaches on the walls and near the containers of feed intended for the pigs. In the area used for weaning, we found a colony of cats, also abandoned in unsanitary conditions. This is the treatment of the animals on the farm before and after death. From an environmental point of view, we also encountered many alarming scenes. The farm is located near the Olio River, a tributary of the Po River. Just a few hundred feet from the river, we documented a massive sewage leak from the farm's containment tanks, a dangerous fact for the aquifer given its proximity to the river.
All this is unacceptable and very different from the marketing of the Bompieri Group, which is affiliated with this farm. For the second time in 2021, we showed that this company's claims of caring about animal welfare standards mattered only in their advertising. Animal Equality has filed another complaint against Grupo Bompieri to local authorities, denouncing what we found. Moving forward, we will continue our investigations into these farms until there is justice for these animals. <laughs>